In a bid to build trust and confidence of survivors of various and seek for justice in the society, International Alert with support of United Kingdom UK Aid has trained community first responders on psychological first aid to victims of sexual and gender-based violence and other assaults in Kaduna. The training aims at equipping first responders who are security personnel, paramilitary, health workers and community members with right skills who are first contact to support survivors and protect their identity against stigmatization in communities. To equip them with skills on how to administer psychosocial support. In most cases, when survivors either visit um, safety or security personnel, doctors, nurses, people in different institutions, they don't get the required information that they need or support. This support can be either um, counseling, it can be referral to legal services, either to regain properties they have lost or documents. Sometimes because of improper documentation and lack of respect for data protection protocol having this training so that first responders actually treat survivors with dignity and they also ensure that they adhere to data protection protocols by respecting the wishes and the privacy of survivors. Also the manager of Salama Sexual Assault Referral Center, Governor Awan General Hospital, Kakuri Kaduna says SGBV cases is on the increase at the center with 20 to 30 every month. She commended Kaduna state government for taking the fight against SGBV very seriously, appealing to victims, parents and guardians to speak out and report cases and not to die in silence. We are concerned more about the survivor's well-being and also the support they get from the moment they are abused, medical attention, um, psychosocial support till the point where they get the report to the station and then get justice. Kaduna State has taken the fight against sexual and gender-based violence very seriously. That's why we even have four centers report cases when they occur because most times there's this history of silence. People keep quiet because there's a lot of stigma around sexual and gender-based violence. Training will really help me to know my limitation in terms of giving care that's why in the first eight treatment to me because I've been offering this treatment but I've never known my boundaries. I just give it anyhow. Now I know the real objective, the aim and where to start and where to stop. And the types of the care I'm supposed to give to the survivor. Different personnel, you find yourself in, being in contact with these survivors always. And you might be going out of your way to do things, thinking you are doing the right thing. By the reason of this training, I believe it has helped me as a person. And I will not withhold the knowledge I've gotten in this uh, training. I will extend it to my you know, subordinates and my superiors, because it will help us to know how to treat survivors now. You know how to treat them so that they will start rebuilding the confidence. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.